Today, we are going to buy the cheapest, most broken iPhones at pawn shops. And we're going to repair them and sell them for a profit. We went into these pawn shops only looking for steals and deals. We wanted all the phones that we buy to be really broken so we could get a really good price. We found a lot of phones, but not all of them were broken and a lot of them were really expensive. But luckily, after going to a couple pawn shops, we stopped at this amazing pawn shop with a ton of Apple products. We found iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches that were all really broken and really good prices so you know we had to get them I'm so excited. Time for our total broken Apple haul. First thing we got was a crazy deal. Well, kind of a crazy deal. I mean, it's completely shattered, but we got it at a really good price. We got this iPad Pro, $100. And considering that it comes with the Apple Pencil, that's a really good deal. But we'll see how much it's gonna cost to repair this and if it actually worked. We might've got scammed or this might be the best deal we've ever got. Next thing we got was a red iPhone 8, iPhone 7. <laughs> I don't know what this one was, but they sold it to us for literally 30 bucks because it is an older phone and it has shattered back glass like crazy. But for $30, I think if we fix this, we can get a really good profit on it. Next, we got an iPhone 12 for $85, but I negotiated it down to 80 bucks. It has the password on here and I think it turns on, hopefully. Like I said, we got these at really good prices. Not only are they cracked, but they might not work either. So this one was really cheap because if you can see, there is a shattered lens on it and overall, the condition is just not good. It's cracked right here, there's dents on the side, so I was able to negotiate it down a lot because of the bad condition that it's in. But $85 for an iPhone 12 is still crazy. The next iPhone we got was an iPhone 11 in white and I got it for $75. I don't know if it turns on or not, but we got it for $75. The only thing that's wrong with it is if the lens has a giant crack on it. So you pretty much can't see out of the camera. But other than that, the front screen looks good and the back screen looks good, but we have no idea if it works. So we might've wasted $75 or we might've got a steal and deal. Now we have our broken devices. Now let's go fix them. We are here at my favorite repair shop in San Antonio and we are going to get all of these devices repaired at hopefully a really good price. Let's hope they can fix all of these really damaged stuff. Hello, hi, hello again. Uh, I brought some stuff that needs repair. I kind of wanted to see if you guys were able to do it for us today. Sure, let's see what you have. Okay, first thing we have is an iPad. Take a look at it, it's pretty shattered. The screen is completely shattered pretty much, so we need it replaced. Oh wow, oh, that's pretty bad. Okay, do you think it Did this get run over? It might have. Wow, yeah, we can fix this. Then we have this iPhone 11. I don't know if you guys can repair that camera. It's like all cracked on the top. We can fix this, definitely. This is our iPhone 12 that is shattered in the front and the camera as well. Wow, these are great prices. Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah. we can definitely fix this as well. Looks like it's just the back glass broken. We specialize in doing back glass repairs here, so we can actually get this fixed for you. I'm so excited. We need to fix this because I need to make my money back. We kind of spent a lot on this and I have no idea if we're even going to be able to make some profit. To fix the top camera lens, they said they're only going to charge us $10 because it's not a hard fix. So now that we have it all ready to go, it's time to see if this thing actually turns on. We have not yet tried it to see if it works. Let's see. We might have wasted $85 or we might have got a steal and deal. <gasps> yes! Okay, so it turns on and let's hope there's not a password on it. Yes! Okay, so this one is completely usable. All the apps are there. It's open and this is literally a brand new working phone and we're going to sell it and make a profit. This iPhone 11 cost us $85 to buy and fix. I think that we could probably get $300 for it. So let's list it and see if we can sell it. Normally to fix a screen, it's $180, but they give it to us for $80, which is really good. To fix the lens, it would have been $45, but they gave it to us for only $10. Our friends at The Fix are super quick. They can fix back glass, front glass, cameras, literally anything and these repairs are not easy you literally have to chip off the glass you have to take off the glue add a new screen and all of this can get really expensive but luckily they gave us really good prices so that way we can make a profit here is our iPhone 12 all nice and new it's our brand new and repair screen now for the moment of truth let's see if this one turns on please work please work yes. and that is another working phone here is our iPhone 12 it is on and working and it literally is restarted brand new on Google this says that it's typically 600 to $649, which is crazy considering how much we paid for it. For this iPhone 12, it cost us $175 to repair. And I think that we could probably get $400 for this phone. So we're gonna list it on OfferUp and Facebook to see if we get any bids. Normally to fix this screen, it was gonna cost $350, but since they're cool with us, they're gonna charge us $280 to fix the screen. 
And this iPad Pro turns on and it looks amazing. It looks so much better with the screen all repaired. I can't believe how broken we bought it and now it looks incredible. So this iPad normally is around $600, but since it's used, we could probably sell it for $500 and with the Apple Pencil, that's another $100. So we're looking at about $600 for this iPad. For this iPad, it costs us $380 to buy and repair, which is a bit pricey, but I think we can sell it for $550 with the Apple Pencil. So normally to fix this backlash, it would have been $79.99, but since they're cool with us, they give it to us for $69.99, which is really not bad considering we literally bought this phone for $20. This is our red iPhone SE and it looks insane. I would have never noticed that it was even cracked. It was actually like $20. I'm so excited to see how much money we can make when we sell this. This one brand new is $150, so we're gonna go ahead and list it for $120. Okay, so we are back from repairing all of the phones and the iPad and we got a ton of offers. So I'm so excited because we're gonna go meet up with them today to go sell all of this stuff. So let's go make some money. Okay, so we are here to meet with the first person to sell the iPhone 11 for $300. So I'm so excited. He said to me at this Circle K, it's kind of sketchy at a gas station, but I didn't get this money, okay? Caleb? Oh, hi. Hello. I have the iPhone 11 right here. Yeah, here it is. It's really good condition. Here, you can check it out if you want. And then, I don't have the charger, but um, I mean, it's just a normal like iPhone charger. Okay. Okay, cool. 300. All right, is there any other questions about it? Or? No, I think that's pretty much it. That's it? Okay, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I did not think that we could sell the phone so quick. We literally bought it today, fixed it today, and sold it today for $300. That is so crazy. He was super cool. I mean, we got our bag, dude. That is so awesome. So in total, we made $215 in profit on that phone because we bought it for $85 and sold it for $300. So we just made $215 profit. Time to meet up with the next person to sell the next phone. Okay, so we're here to meet up to sell the iPhone 12 for $400. And they said to meet up at McDonald's, which I kind of like because it's more of a public environment. But I guess we'll just wait here and hope they show up. I'm kind of hungry. No? Yes, for the iPhone 12? Okay, perfect. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so here's, it's supposed to be 400. 400? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, here, and then here's the phone. Check it out. Do you have the charger for it? I don't have the charger, but um, it's charged. You can check it out. Yeah, okay. it's like brand new. There's nothing on it or anything. Okay, cool. And then this is all the money? Yeah. Okay, cool. Is that everything? Any yeah. other questions? No. Okay, cool. And then you have my number if anything else. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, I appreciate it. Thanks so yeah, much. Take thanks. care. Money. We just made a $225 profit on that phone after we bought it and repaired it. So far, not so bad. Okay, so we are now at a 7-Eleven where they told us to meet up for this iPhone SE. We're going to trade it for $100, so I guess we'll just wait. <laughs> Okay, it has officially been 30 minutes and they stopped responding to my text, so I think we're done. I didn't think they showed up for it, but I guess we took a loss on this one because they're not going to show up. And finally, the iPad. We actually sold this online for $500. So for the iPad, it cost us $380 to buy it and fix it, and we're selling it for $500, which leaves us at $120 profit. So let's ship it out because we're about to make $120. So in total, buying and fixing all of the products, we spent $729. And in total, we made, drum roll, after we sold everything, we made $1,300. But after expenses, our total profit was $571 in one day, which is absolutely crazy. And we can put this money towards the giveaway. So comment down below what we should buy for the next giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.